In the human eye, the layer known as the retina possesses a number of cell types, including the photoreceptors, the cells which respond to light, rods responding uh, to dim light and registering simply as light or dark, and then cells known as cones, uh, which express one of three pigments uh, and thus respond to one of three colors. Most mammals are dichromatic. They have two types of cones, which express one of the two types of photopigments and thus can distinguish between, say, blue on one hand and red and green on the other. Whereas humans, like all of the catarrhine primates, express three different cone pigments and thus are trichromatic, being able to distinguish between blue, red, and green. This was the result of a gene duplication. Other groups of animals, such as fish and birds, have had even more duplications. And so thus, humans do not see the color world the way that birds do, because they are tetrachromatic. They have four different types of cones, each expressing one type of cone opsin. Um, but how birds see color varies. So for example, the most primitive birds alive today, like the flightless ostrich and rhea, and other groups of birds such as hawks, they do not see ultraviolet light. So it seems that that was not something that the earliest birds could perceive. Um, however, the cone which detects violet light in many groups of birds can be modified to now perceive ultraviolet light. So this final cone can perceive either violet or ultraviolet light. It just takes one single mutation, changing one amino acid into another. And this can happen in two different places to change a violet uh, pigment to an ultraviolet one or back again. And this has happened, it seems, about a dozen times that uh, in different lineages of birds, there has been a mutation changing violet to ultraviolet, we're back again. The light that I am shining on these birds' feathers is both UV and violet. It has both wavelengths. And you can see the violet that when it is reflected off the bird's feathers in a larger quantity, this changes the hue. The birds look different with violet light coming uh, from them. In these images, however, I have put a filter on the camera that blocks out visible light and only transmits UV light. So when I shine UV light on these birds' feathers, some UV light bounces off then into the camera that is recording then these pictures. And so bird feathers can reflect UV light. They do so because of their structure, not because they have a specific pigment. And birds' eyes can detect this. So bird feathers reflect a new color that humans cannot see, and birds' eyes can. Why do birds perceive ultraviolet light? Well, there are many reasons, potentially. One is, for example, cedar waxwing male and females look identical to human eyes. And there are many birds where humans do not distinguish between males and females. They look the same to us. But to birds, they don't because there are patches of feathers which reflect UV light differently. So um, it is possible for birds to distinguish between males and females um, using the ability to perceive UV light. Given that hawks do not perceive UV light, obviously there is an advantage in social cues which predators cannot perceive. So for example, cardinals and tanagers are large radiations of neotropical birds which can perceive UV light. To human eyes, only half of them are dichromatic based on gender, so that humans can only distinguish between half of the species, male and female. But to birds perceiving UV, this number is 97%. And many of them have patches of feathers which reflect more than 20% of the UV light which reaches them. This is what birds can perceive. The ability to perceive UV light doesn't only affect feathers. So for example, notice how UV light bounces off of this snake skin, which otherwise is just a light tan. 
um, birds would perceive it differently. Birds can thus perceive urine in the trails of rodents that humans would not be able to see. Uh, UV light allows the perception of young leaves and fruits, which would have fewer of the plant's defensive compounds and thus a higher nutrient content. So the ability to perceive UV has many potential benefits for birds. Thus it is a little humbling as we try to answer the question, why do birds look the way they do? Or how do they interact with the world around them? Um, they do not see the world as we see it. And therefore, when we consider bird coloration, that bird coloration is not there for us, but for them. It is not as important to ask how we perceive the color of the bird as it is to ask how do birds perceive the color, given that they are typically tetrachromatic, perceiving in four colors. And this fourth color may either be violet or ultraviolet, which humans cannot see at all.